So I lost $5,000. I know you're all asking, were you robbed, were you scammed, are you going to finish your ghost game? And no. I decided to do freelance coding for free. After my previous video, where I tested if DugDug's Twitch chat subconsciously plays Mario Party, I had an idea. Now if you ever have an idea, the first thing you should do is run. Ideas are very dangerous and lead to situations where you do 150 hours of work for free. <clears throat> where was I? Ah yes! Looking at every Twitch Plays program ever made, I noticed something. They all suck. Thank you for listening to my TED Talk. I wanted to make a Twitch Plays program more advanced and intuitive than anything ever created. Well, I just wanted to add a voting system for dealing with commands rather than the fighting over the controller approach most programs take. As one wise developer once said, if no one's going to use it, why would I waste $5,000 of work making it? That developer was me. Right now, I needed a client. Otherwise, this project would be joining Jeffrey in the bin before it even started. Finding someone who will use this is kind of like an elevator pitch, except the elevator is a philosophical bus stop and the other person has absolutely no affiliation to you. Hey, you wanna buy my program? Uh... You want it? No... Come on, take it! Take the free program! I'm just waiting for the bus, sir. Just take the program already! Somehow, I managed to convince a random person on the internet to download and run my program on their computer, and that it totally won't steal their YouTube channel and fill it with Elon crypto scams. Well, it does that too, but that's not the main point of the program. Hey dude, Can't I've been it. working on Twitch Plays Splatoon code. Yo! Would this be something you'd be interested in? Yeah, it would be. DM me. Meet that SRB2 dude. A Splatoon connoisseur and Twitch streamer. In that order. He also skateboards, but that's besides the point. Twitch kickflips a skateboard if we hit a thousand likes on this video. Now when I had a client, what do you think that I did? Did I A. Quickly make a prototype program and hand it off? B. Communicate with Dude and lay out a plan for the program before making it? Or C. Over-engineer a Windows form app designed for anyone in any game, then realize I can't release the source code because it requires sensitive information to function properly. Yep, that's right. I spent a month working on an open source Twitch Plays program just to realize I can't publish it. <laughs> Why do I do this to myself? Now, if you want to see this program in action for yourself, go follow that SRB2 dude on Twitch. He'll be streaming Twitch Play Splatoon this Saturday. Probably. Or try the program for yourself. You see, when I said I couldn't release the source code, that's called deception. I made some changes to the code so that it no longer relies on sensitive information. I'm also contacting some other creators that might be interested in the program. So stay tuned. Now, time to find where I can make that $5,000 back. Maybe you could all donate to my GoFundMe.